Hey, over here, little help. We've tried everything. Yo, this metal help. is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Mm -hmm. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you should check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. Uh. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go pick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, they're with a stone angel capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a cousin angel. Man, I'm going back to sudden. The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Mm -hmm. 
Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. You can cuss it hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock night. <laughs> They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go pick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, they're little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. Kamikaze angels? Yeah. Our throwers aren't doing anything to them. Hammer them and smash them into something. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <sighs> well, it's such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you should check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh... 12 o'clock high. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I hold party. Over here, a little help? We've tried Yo, everything. A help? This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Yo, 
new guy. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Mm -hmm. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh... Blah, 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 guy. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Here, go kick. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone is capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a cousin game. Man, I'm going back to Sunday school. The parties of throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something! Looks like a good place for slime tethering. We tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <sighs> well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, blah, 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 guy. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep away from the Echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone is capable of attaining the speed of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a cosmic game. Man, I'm going back to sleep. The kid's on the sun! We tried everything. Guy. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <sighs> well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the echo. I wholeheartedly uh, agree. The kids on to something. More precisely, their little. We've tried New everything. Guy. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. <sighs> well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. Too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, there were the stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, 
Psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock oh. guy. Too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt you. Get it. Go kick them. The only hope you have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone is capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh... They're too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick them. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Ecto. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone angels capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. I'm a man. Man, I'm going back to sun. Particle throwers aren't doing anything. Over here, a little help? Yo, a little We've help? We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Uh -huh. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. Uh, 12 o'clock high. Energy streams aren't going to hurt them. Peter, go kick one. The only hope we have is to stay alive and keep them away from the Echo. I wholeheartedly agree with Rick. More precisely, their little stone is capable of attaining speeds of 198 feet per second before they hit their targets, which is us. How much time to aim? Man, I'm going back to sun. The particle throwers aren't doing anything to them. Tether them and smash them into something.
Hang tight. Aim high. Stuck one past me. Keep it coming. Right in the bread basket. How about some slime tethering? Get on to something. Close. 